Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. We'll talk about common mistake people make when replacing fuses, relays that can cost you quite a bit of money, guys, and waste of time as well. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair, guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW, guys. 5 Series Generation E60, 61. This is the 5 Series BMW from year 2003 to year 2010. If you guys have one of those and if you need to uh, find where the fuse for the idle actuator is located, guys, which fuse you need to check, it's hidden, where you can find it, where you can buy cheap fuses, parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money. And why it's important to test fuses and relays all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure to stay until the end so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys if you have bmw 60 61 that generation 5 series we'll be making a video about every possible fuse and relay why to save you time and money let's say you're in the middle of nowhere your fuel pump fuse blows out what do you need to do okay it takes forever to find where it's located it's so complicated you may have even multiple fuses and all you have to do come to our channel search for it and you'll be able to find that video watch it and in less than two minutes you replace the fuses you're back on the road something else guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you guys how to fix pretty much anything engines transmissions why we do that because our mission to shop is to save you money guys we have more than 11,000 videos on our channels that can save you quite a bit of money now uh, if you guys need to buy parts to use for your BMW or any car, we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money. And if you need to buy cheap fuses, relays, anything for your BMW, links will be shared as well. So let's continue now. So the idle actuator fuse, where it's located, will demonstrate on the 2008 BMW, guys, 5 series that we have right here. But even if you have one before the facelift or the facelifted version, you will need to check that fuse. You have three different fuse boxes in this car. Today we'll be working in one of them, and that fuse box is under the hood. Pop the hood open, once you do that, you will, guys, come on the passenger side. This is your windshield, that's the wiper, that's the shock tower. This is the strut shock for the hood. And right here you have one trim cover, remove it, underneath you will get to a fuse box. Once you open that fuse box, it will look like a big mess of wires, relays, modules, and fuses. Before we continue, let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays. So it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system i'll never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery guys okay common mistake people make it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect reconnect first if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules how we know about that we burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost is two thousand dollars guys so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first check it out for your convenience so the idle guys okay the idle actuator fuse where it's located if we zoom in you will be looking for a black fuse box that consists of five different fuses now that thing will be somewhere in the fuse box but it could be the different location maybe on the left on the right behind or right, like ours on the front now here once you open that cover guys underneath you have five fuses the fuse that you need to check for the idle control is fuse number two in our case it's 20 m fuse yours may be different depending on the engine year and model configuration but since you have only five fuses check all of them for a peace of mind hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you guys next time